Hello everyone, and this is my project here, Value Analysis of Material Management Product. My name is Rahul Paul, I'm from Value Technology Tech Engineering College. Uh, my VMC number is 712, the wife's name is Mr. Rajanand. He is my assistant professor from MCA department. My external guy's name is Mr. Sunan Paul. He is the project coordinator at NIBT from where I am doing the project. Now, uh, the front end we have used here is Java and the back end has, is Oracle 10 GS Express Edition. These are the main objectives of the project. Uh, the project will be critically reviewed here. And right content and quality of materials to be processed to be found out and value analysis definitely reduces the material cost you know, by giving us details about how much materials to be purchased. Now here's the company profile is Excel Enterprise which is situated at Park Street, Kolkata. Company deals with entities used with labels such as buttons, chains, hooks and clips, various other metal items that you fit with, you know, attached to leather boots like jackets and bags and shoes, boots, etc. Company is planning to expand its business by opening new branches and hence it needs an ERP software. The existing system here is the product which the company currently uses has been developed using FoxPro and the main disadvantages of FoxPro is it has a command line interface. It's not user friendly at all. It is outdated. It performs good but it's kind of slow when compared to the technology that we use in current time and it does not allow the user to store a large amount of data hence the user has to make keep regular backups of files. And the proposed system will have a very user friendly user interface since it has a it has been developed using Java JTV and it will have a stable performance thanks to Oracle 10 G Express Edition database. And it will be a web application, hence the user does has no you know the user doesn't have to install it in every standalone computer like it he has to do with the story of developed using Foxco. Uh, this is a web application and the user has to install it once in its server and he can access it from anywhere around the world. These are the hardware requirements, the minimum requirements of course, and the software requirements. And here are the main models. The main master models here are purchase, store, and sales, of course. And materials planning and value analysis, etc., will be performed inside the sales order, and receiving section will be performed inside the purchase model. Uh, the purchase model consists of the following tables. The two main tables here are bill of materials, BOM. It will be generated once a uh, once the administrator sends the purchase order to the vendor and after he receives the material he will you know once he sends the bill the company and the vendor will send him a bill of the material code, the quality, the price, etc. That will be treated as the bill of material. The second main table here is the goods received note. What happens in goods received note is once the client receives the materials from the vendor, the company will generate a goods received note which will state the amount of amount and quantity of the materials and the status will be received successfully. And the sales module, once the product has been manufactured and developed properly, the company has to sell the first product and it will also generate a final invoice report in the form of a PDF file. Now, EOQ performs the value analysis function here. It will it will calculate the details about the past usage of materials and generate a report on how much, approximately how much quantities of material the plant, the company has to order in order for the next, you know, next time. Now the data flow diagram here, the data flow diagram, this is the level zero diagram, the login and registration takes place, this is a level one. Uh, the user level functions takes place like the user inserts the data, approves the data, searches the data. This can be performed by the administrator too. And this is the main administrator place where he can modify it and report and validate data and store it in the details. Uh, sorry, store it in detail in the database. This is the sales from, uh, you know, the sales flow diagram. 
what happens here is the customer comes in, the administrator will get the customer's details and the detailed orders. Uh, if the uh, customer finds out that it's an existing order, it will go to the next report and it may collect an advanced payment as per the company's rules and regulations. Now, if it's a new call, the uh, admin will store the data and if it's an existing call, the sales order will be filled up automatically. And a part of the sales order because it already has the details that have been entered before in the autofill option. Now the, the, the administrator will find out if the company is capable of manufacturing the order or not. If it does not meet the business prospect, it will go back to the start. If it meets the business product, it will book the order, store the details in the database, and follow these procedures here. These are the procedures you should follow at the end. And this is the system design of the administrator. As you can see, the role of the administrator here has been specified in this case. And this is the system design of the user. These are the roles that the user can take place. This is the flash diagram of the home page. This is the activity diagram of the enterprise. Now, this is what the users can do. This is what the admin can do. The admin can also do these users details and what that comes by default. Here's the login page, you enter the email ID and the password and the login. If you haven't logged in, you have a other member at option that is join us. Once you click on join us, you go to this page and in this page you enter your email ID as user ID. Now uh, the purchase and sales and inventory manager are the four departments that has that are available in this project. And you have to enter any one here. These four are the options. Now here is your password and you have to control the password and then sign up and then you can go and log in again. This is the admin's home page. The admin can view all the four all the three details, including the manager's. Now this project product has been developed only for the administrator of specific department. Now the manager here is the boss and these are the employees, but only the administrator of each department can access it. Now suppose the purchase department logged in here. The purchase department can see only this tab. The remaining three tabs will be invisible to the purchase. The same goes for sales. If the sales department admin logged in, you can see only the sales tab. The other three tabs will be invisible to the sales. But the manager, when the manager logs in, you can see all the details. We have the purchase order, we get the vendor details here, all the content details, we have the shipping address where the vendor has to ship the products. This is the order information, you click on submit here and that's all. This is the sales order. What happens in sales order is we get the client details again here. We get the shipping details where we are supposed to ship the product. This is for us. And then we get the uh, product details, the rate quantity amount and when we click on this button, it goes to the process of creating an invoice. And here is the Excel Enterprises stock and inventory. And stock or inventory can be anything. Now here we have the vendor details. Now when you give the GRN ID or the BON ID and click on search, it will give you the item product, quantity, quality, and the order level. Suppose it's not available, it's a new entry. You have to manually give the GRN and BON ID and click on submit, it will store it in the database. Now when you click on VA, VA stands for value analysis, you get the annual usage, all receiving, carrying cost. Is a EOQ and that it has been explained before in this model. That's EOQ root over ASP annual usage order placing and receiving cost per unit annual carrying cost of one unit. And these have been given here. That's carrying cost percentage, cost per unit. These are the details which to come up. Administrator has to feed into this template in this field and the EOQ will be calculated. And then that will be set here. These are the database tables, the registration table, the client table, the material table, the vendor table. And that's all. And now we, we have referred the main book, the most important book here is Cost Accounting by Power Dash Energy. It consists of all the details that have been used in an ERP project in the entire world. Though it's a 20 year old book, the procedures have been the same ever since the ERP concept was introduced. The other book we have referred to is Materials Management by Ryan Lewis and Introduction to Materials Management by Jeff Tony. 
थैंक यू थैंक यू